Have you ever been friends with someone who turned out to be a hardcore criminal? I didn't personally know him, but at my high school there was a guy who was well liked and fairly popular. One day he comes into class and is just really quiet not like himself. Halfway through the class the police come in, cuff him and take him away. Turns out he murdered his parents before school. 5 out of the 11 guys in my high school football huddle were convicted of serious felonies. 1 robbery, 2 assault with deadly weapon, 2 murders. One of my high school friends killed a guy over a drug deal and tried to stuff the body in a garbage can. Won't be hearing from him in quite some time. Close. My college advisor who I also had for many classes and while I didn't consider him a friend, we had many deep discussions about life. Turns out he was a pedophile who groomed boys for shreks, then made peen out of the encounters and traded those in the internet. Spending the rest of his life in prison. I had an old high school friend named Mike that beat his girlfriend to the point where she was in intensive care for about 3 months. He fled to Florida for a few years before he was caught and committed suicide before he went to trial. One childhood friend, who was, of course, the offspring of two child psychologists, stabbed her baby daddy 25 times. Another childhood friend has killed three different people, and managed to get off with a self-defense claim each time. Another kid I know shot someone over a pair of sunglasses. Sometimes I feel like I deserve a reward for making it out of my backward small town without a criminal record, a baby, or a drug addiction. The place I work involves a lot of volunteers. Generally, it's a group of sweet kind people looking to do some good. As a staff member, I'm friendly with everyone, and became friends with this guy Ivan. He was a nice guy and we started seeing him out, hanging with work friends. A year or so down the line, an employee of mine started to date Ivan for a few months. I guess he became obsessive and abusive. Stalking her at work, telling people she's crazy, etc. One day, she didn't show for work. So I called her cell. He answered and sounded crazy. I called the police. Long story short, ends up that he has a long history of brutally beating people. They got into an argument and he trapped her in her bathroom. Apparently, he almost killed a man once over a stolen seat at a bar. Yikes. Used to be pretty good friends with a guy who turned out to be a pedophile. He was put on a Shrek's offenders register when he was 20. He's also not allowed to use any social media unless under supervision. He used it to groom his victims, which I thought seemed pretty hard to enforce. But apparently he still leaves with his parents and the police set up monitoring software on anything with an internet connection. My best friend was recently arrested and sentenced to 5 years for owning and operating a chop shop. It's been about 2 years since I last spoke to him. I found out the other day, because I decided to google his name randomly. I knew someone in high school that took drugs and raped a girl at knife point, then after being bailed out, fled the country. Crazy shoot. My best friend from elementary school is currently serving 3 life sentences for a lot of shoot including murder. We spent every day together back then. Even when we were really young we got into trouble, but not big time stuff. Once we hopped on a random bus church bus, because the people getting on had a bunch beach balls and umbrellas and such. Nobody asked any questions, we got all the way to the beach two half hours away, and then they started asking questions when we all sat down to eat lunch. It was a good time. We grew up in kind of a bad area so there was always gangs around. We knew who they were and they definitely knew which of us younger kids interested in doing favors and such. When we hit middle school I went the skater slash stoner slash punk route and he went with the thug gangster route. We still talk through those times, because we lived really close to each other and my grandma was kind of friends with his mum, but we weren't friends like back in the day. He got deeper and deeper into it and kept going in, and out of jail. We're both 26 now, I haven't heard from him in 2 years. My grandma passed away and he sent me a letter from prison. He wrote that he was sorry to hear about my grandma, 
that he regrets teenage years and wished he would have been more like me, and that he'll never get out of prison for a bunch of bullshit. I never responded, because I didn't really know what to say. I had a tight-knit group of friends in high school. There were 12 of us who did everything together, all band geeks. One of those friends was Chris. He was a cool dude, smoked weed a lot, didn't try too hard in school, but he was remarkably good at playing trumpet. We had several heart to hearts together about growing up in a split household and being afraid of the future. He even dated my best friend for 8 months. When we all went away to college, Chris stayed home to go to community college. About 2 weeks after we left, he got arrested for possessing and distributing child pornography. Haven't spoken to him since. One of my semi-close friends from middle school. He was the quietest, nicest guy I knew. He was known for being a really good violin player and an even better guitar player. Then a few years later in high school, his girlfriend tried to break up with him. He held a knife to her throat and insisted that she stay with him. I used to hang out with this guy in grade school. He was a year older, but a cool guy. I was always over at his house for dinner. His parents were really nice. His dad was cop and his mum an accountant. We would hang out and play PS2 in his basement after school almost every day. One day I'm over playing GTA and we hear a loud bang from upstairs. This was pretty normal his dad had been doing work on the house as long as I had known him. But this time it wasn't his dad. It was a SWAT team. We hear a commotion upstairs and pause our game to go check it out. His dad is face down on his living room carpet, handcuffed with a cop's knee in his back. He's yelling what the frick Tony I'm one of you. Three months later I found out his dad killed his mistress and hid the body in the concrete of the basement floor. A guy I knew as a child went to prison for 10 years after trying to burn down a mosque with the people inside. He grew up into a full on Nazi with swastikas all over him. Probably will get buried, but oh well. I had a friend who I'd grown up with, we'll call him Bob, and we were close kinda. We hung out many times, heart to heart, went with him and his parents to his vacation home plenty of times. Anyway, me and him stopped talking after one instance at his vacation home. Very complicated. About a year or so later after that, found out he was thrown in prison for holding up a few gas stations with a BB gun. Don't know if he's still in prison, but kind of hard to believe since his home life wasn't bad, by any means. When I was growing up, my next door neighbor, two years older than me, and I used to often hang out as kids, usually just playing sports or going to the nearby playground, always having a laugh and generally being pretty decent friends. By the time this guy was 16, he had formed a gang with a group of three guys, all of which I knew on a first name basis, who would go around at night and intimidate people, steal alcohol, and beat up random strangers for money or possessions. He was never caught, at least as far as I know. He moved to a different neighborhood when I was 16, but he certainly committed his fair share of crimes. Assault, theft, trespassing, underage drinking, possession of drugs, and vandalism. Surprisingly, I actually remained on good terms with him and we got on pretty well, though it still gives me a weird feeling to know that a group of the most dangerous criminals in my town are essentially led by one of my childhood friends. Friends with and related to. Pulled myself out of poverty to rise above it, but if I ever need someone killed I know who to call. At my workplace I became friends with people that ended up being fired for dealing on the call floor. Eventually dated someone that ended up dealing and that situation turned ugly and he ended up getting shot and has told me and several others that he has killed people and even hosted a fight club. He now has a kid and leaves with his parents. Breaks my heart, because it didn't have to turn out that way. A guy I know stole some guy's wallet and ordered like 10 phones with it. Just waiting on him to get carted off to jail. He's only 16. I knew a guy from high school that I was friendly with. He and two other dudes ended up robbing a old lady's house while the lady was home. They beat her up pretty badly. 
I'm the only person in my friend circle that hasn't been to prison. A guy I used to work with was recently arrested for using his phone to take a picture up a lady's skirt at Target. Then after someone saw his mugshot on the news story, got charged with felony sexual assault and burglary. Dad was friends with people at school who were brothers and now both of them are in jail for stabbing a guy multiple times. Dad said he always thought they were a little off. Used to go with my friends every year to Mexico where we would spend a week with my friend's father showing us the best restaurants, hooking us up with fun things to do, going to his house, etc. I knew he had served time in federal prison and been deported from the US twice for dealing heroin about 10 years ago. He seemed to live pretty modestly in Mexico. A few months after our last visit he turned up missing and a legit ransom note was sent to his family. They didn't have that kind of money and he was never heard from again. Most of my friends have criminal backgrounds. I'm a recovering drug addict, and most of my friends are from 12-step programs, especially NA, and a lot of people in NA have done jail or prison time. Most for possession or dealing, but some for robbery, assault, or things like that. Two of my friends actually did lengthy prison sentences for murder. The most trouble I've ever gotten into was getting a DUI, and I didn't even go to jail for that. Was friends with one guy, call him W, and acquaintances with another of his friends, call him P. W was a nice enough guy, kept to himself most of the time. One night he let P drive his car, despite it not being registered or insured, on the understanding that if P was pulled over then Will would claim the car stolen. The penalties he would get for allowing the car to be driven would have earned him a one year suspension given his record. P got pulled over and arrived at W's house with the police in tow. W's reaction was, well, spectacular. He jumped out of his chair screaming, I'm not going back to jail, and running around the house like he was about to be dragged away to his death. Turns out W was a prolific burglar that was always expecting the police to bust him. That night the police only dealt with the car that P was driving. W didn't have the heart to go through with reporting the car stolen to avoid the penalties. So he wound up with a thousand dollar fine and a one year driving suspension for allowing the unregistered uninsured car to be driven. A short time later P was arrested. He broke into a house and was approached by a cop as he left the house carrying stolen items. The cop got too close and P stabbed him and left him for dead was caught by the second responding officer. I hope he rots in jail.